hashtag custom grit make a mallet. Custom grit. I can never remember the hashtags when I make videos. Anyway. Imagine if all those 80s movies had battery powered chainsaw. Just not, not as scary, is it? All right, I'm gonna have a giveaway. All you have to do is name all the timbers in this mallet. I'm gonna tell you what they are throughout the video. The mallet head is made out of leopard tree wood. I still have no regrets about selling the bandsaw. I still have no regrets selling the bandsaw. I'm still not regretting. I probably should have done this first. Oh, back to the planer. I'll see if I can get some resin into some of these voids to strengthen that up, make it look a little bit cool. The second timber is this blank of broken skateboards. Okay, little thin strips now, then rotated opposite orientation to get this crisscross effect on the end. We then stack those up, we then chop, glue, stack again. Until we end up with a nice decorative blank. Crisscross, 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 crisscross. I'm busting out the Shimbinator 3000 for a couple of reasons. Uh, one reason so I can do this. This video is not just about the press, it's about pallet wood and joinery, strong joinery. If you want to check that out next, that'd be awesome. Clamps cost a lot of money. This press is a clamp and it only cost me 50 bucks. It's a shoulder vise. It's very versatile. So even for this small little glue up today, I'm going to use a press. A couple of F clamps would obviously do the job if you don't have a couple of F clamps and you're thinking, what should I spend my money on first? Just think outside the box. All I've got to do now is make sure that I glue these up so I get the cross pattern. First official use of this plant. Doesn't need a lot of pressure if everything is pretty good downstairs. Ho! Now, if you saw the video where I put this vice to the test, you'll remember that I said I need to reinforce down there. Clearly, I forgot. Okay, so there'll be no maiden voyage today. F clamps. A four pack of these, also very versatile, get you in the game of clamping and gluing. Heap of cutting, gluing and clamping and recutting and re-gluing and re-clamping to come up with this cross hatched pattern. Uh, hopefully I'll get two scales for this, for my mallet handle, a bit of decorative something something on either side of the handle. For the handle, I'm gonna use spotty gum. If you don't agree that it's spotty gum, let's just call it its scientific name. Hardius is Vicarious. All you have to do to enter is name the four wood components of this mallet. The deal is I will make you a custom mallet. Okay, so please keep watching to the end of this video and see how this one turns out. That'll really help me out. Like the video and subscribe if you wouldn't mind. That'll also help me out massively. I'm inlaying these little laminations so it sort of looks like a textured handle. So I've got a little bit of math and a science to do here to make sure these are perfectly in the center of the blank. So when I turn it, it's perfectly in the center. Stabby McStab face.
Had a bit of carnage there. Who's gonna know? Who's, ow, spotty gum splinter. Hand tools are hard work, but cool project to practice. So I'm just getting my little inlays in here as snug as possible. There are some voids, but you know how it is. Dyed maple veneer. All right, quick confession time. So this hole is awesome. This one is cocked off to one side. Not sure why my stool's going down. Let's wait. I used a drill press in this side and then I continued on with a hand drill. It took its own path, it didn't pop out square, so that was a bit of a punter error. Is my handle is going to be crooked. So I've got to come up with a way to straighten that and then camouflage the fact that this hole is not in the middle. But it was a fair balls up, which is a shame because that's a cool metal head. Hopefully I can recover it. Finished. This one has caused me a lot of drama. Shout out to all my friends at school who are loyal subscribers of Dana Maid. Oi, what are you doing here? Oh, nothing. Well, while you're here, you may as well say good day to Grandpa. Oh, hello, Grandpa. Thank you for watching Dad's videos and thank you for being a nice Grandpa. <laughs> okay, so even my son's friends, instead of doing schoolwork, have been watching my videos and sending me lots of comments. Although I appreciate the 10 views, you need to stop. It's freshly oiled.